Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we are fighting in our siege battle. We're up against these two Chinese guilds. One, I believe, is called SWSR plus one. They are ranked 16. The other guild, yeah, unfortunately I can't read their name, but they are at rank 20, right? <laughs> yeah, I am Chinese, but I definitely can't read anything. Why do they only have four defense on their outer towers though? What is going on? I don't understand. <laughs> Did they replace a player and then forget to put their outer defense? Maybe that player had some defenses over there and it's gone. I don't know. But yeah, definitely just seeing the standard net 5s and the net 4 defenses here. Tower 9, some Galnirs and the Shuns. We'll be fighting this Debei Nana and Byungcho. So nowadays, we are seeing a lot of all this kind of Nana defense. I am gonna utilize the triple LD that I have first. But I honestly forgot to change my Gianna runes. <laughs> oh my god, my Neft is faster than the Gianna. Shit, man. Yep, that one is my bad. But I think we are still okay because nothing happened yet. We need to try to stun them here, all right? Perfect. Lay out a bomb onto the Byungcho. Very nice. And I think the Debei is gonna go down really soon. Uh, of course, they get three turns, so I don't like the armor break, though. Yeah, we normally attack first. Okay, good. We are proccing quite a lot, so we got a full pushback once again. This time we finish off the debate and then we stack another bomb onto the Byungcho. We go for the critical error. This should stun everybody up, but the debate resists. It's all good because he's gonna drop dead here. We finish off the Nana and Byungcho will die towards the bomb. We are gonna fight this defense consisting of the Kiara, Byungcho, and Tessarion. I think this one very simple cleave, right? Because nothing is gonna outspeed me in a way. We just need to lay out the armor break. And then our Leah cleans the whole field. Alright? As simple as that. Come on. Gemini, don't let me down. So far, you have been good. <laughs> We've never lost yet. Come on. I'll take two. Okay, at least the Kiara is dead. Pyongjo as well. The Siren gets the violent proc, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna die here. There we go. It's one of those standard net 4 defenses that we always need to hit. So this time, I'll be bringing in the Miang, Ikaras, and Asher. I think we double snipe off the Emily first because, yet again, that's the only armor breaker on the team. I think we should be able to sustain the damage output coming out from the Dark Siri and chilling after that. So that did quite a lot of damage onto Emily. She goes down. Alright. That is good news. So over here, let's just put more damage output onto the Siri. I think we'll try to kill her off first, but we do need to wait for our skills to come back online. Let's see here. Oh, actually hits pretty hard though, this shielding. Wow. 5k per hit. <laughs> With the armor break, bro. Holy shit. Do we have the blade fan? All right, Dark Siri dead. And then 3v1 against this guy. He doesn't have any heals. So that's good news. At most, you kill off my Miang, right? Next turn, we got the Dark Recovery again. We'll just strip all this bullshit away. Come on. This should kill. I'm gonna bring this team against the Asher, Byungcho, and Nana. So... Honestly, a little bit scared because I remember last time I brought this lineup. We got one-shotted in a way by that Asher. He went for the armor break into a couple of violent procs. My finger actually died. <laughs> so hopefully that does not happen, all right? We'll cleanse the armor break off. We place the defense buff. We stack everything up because the stripping department on his side isn't really the best. It's just the uh, Byungcho is pretty random as well. So we just go for the cleanse right now and try to lay out the armor break since we got this additional turn. Big damage done already onto the Usher. Come on, we just need to kill him one more time. Okay, looking good. We go for the defense buff so that we can hit a little bit harder. However, he violent proc to heal up again though. Come on, man. Yo, we cannot even land armor break. Come on, Fingen. Are you moving? Okay. Get out of here, my friend. 
Now we work on to the Nana. Alright, we'll just cleanse everything up. Play it safe. Stack everything once again. <laughs> when we got all our skills, alright? Uh, Nana, now armor broken. This is going to do a lot of damage. There we go. Okay. Don't have to deal with this bullshit unit. And then Byungcho 3v1, very simple. We don't place any more buffs from here on out. <laughs> because I do not want him to steal defense buff. He's gonna be very tanky. He gets to heal up a lot as well. And this should do it. Bro, it seems like nowadays everybody is just fitting Nana, Byungcho, and one LD unit at the end. Right? I think that's the meta nowadays in, in G3 Siege. It's mainly to counter things like the Belial, I guess, but there's still quite a lot of ways to deal against it. So we did not get any stun here. Come on. This triple win lineup, I don't think we ever lose, right? We don't touch the Volantis because he's gonna potentially counter stun us back. So we just work onto the Nana first. Okay, big damage done already. Now, oh my god. I'm gonna break onto everybody though. He keeps stunning my ass as well. Hey. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Come on. We need to kill off this Nana ASAP, alright? Okay, first life down. Can we violent proc one time, baby? Please, Dinah. One time? Come on, man. Oh, we don't have heal. Oh, Dinah dead. Huh, I think I got no choice. I need to shield up. If I transform, I die. <laughs> okay. Hey, the Valantis actually doing so much work, bro. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, can we get a stun? Come on. No stun. Okay, we can revive our Dina soon. Oh, that strip stun though. Okay. We go for the shield. Because if I transform... The glancing, right? The glancing, very scary. If we don't crit the Byungcho, we are under the pony form. Maybe he violent proc a few times to kill off my Dina as well. I didn't want to take the risk there. But now, our Elajo is going to die though. Oh, come on, man. Oi! Wait, wait, wait. We kill off the Byungcho here, right? Do we have Torrin? Please? Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Just gonna finish his ass with this skill. I'm gonna run the double bomber with the friend for this one because it's kind of like the same concept where we are fighting the Kakano, Asher, and Vicha where they don't have very good strips, right? It's all down to the massacre coming out from the Asher. It depends who he aims. If he aims my Sien, we got revive. However, nowadays they are so smart though. Always aim my Malaka, man. <laughs> Oh shit, we need to cleanse! Oh my god, no violent proc. We only land one bomb! Come on, dude! Yo, that's so unlucky. Bomb, not enough damage, man. If we got two, maybe, you know? Maybe we could have killed off the Chandra, or maybe... Just a little bit more HP that we need to deal with. Holy shit, now we are getting wrecked. Oh, we got no choice but to hit this unit, man. <laughs> Bro. The double counter, man. Oh, shit. Come on, that threat state. We are always forced to hit the Vitra. Yo, that's stun. Hey, not like this, man. Next turn, we have the bomb. Are we able to sustain, though? No, friend died. Land your bomb. Go for the hug. Oh, he's so smart. He didn't want to hug the Vitra. Fuck. If he hug Vitra, I think we survive. I think this one is a very simple Ariel Camilla Belial team. Yeah, what is killing off our units? I'm too lazy to change the runes as well. We just keep the Ariel as that. Tier 5 runes. <laughs> Trash. 
utter trash. Not my standard, but hey, I don't care about this unit. He's just there to provide the HP leader anyways. So we just go for the cleanse here and try to finish off the Kakano first. Wait for the revive and then if the window is open for us to snipe the Elagio, we'll do it. So this Kakano still alive though. Oh my god, he actually crit. Huh. Yeah, I think we finish off the Kakano here. Can we sustain our aerial though? Honestly, I'm not sure. Okay, we can heal up. Oh, the bug yield's so annoying, dude. I really want this LD Net 5. Honestly, it's my dream LD Net 5 now. I really want it. Yeah, we just try to finish him off first. So annoying. Okay, good. Thankfully, no crit. However, we don't have heals yet, but I think our aerial should be safe. All right, let's go. Now we just normal attack here. Oh, he has to revive soon, right? Can we freeze? Oh no, we didn't get it. Ah, oh, defense buff once again. Yeah, I think we kind of need to deal with a second round of revive soon. I don't think this cuts it, you know? Oh! Chance? <laughs> a lot of additional turns on my end, I'll take it. I don't care, round 2 and I'm using the same exact lineup once again because I don't believe the RNG can be that bad. I felt like we got robbed earlier. <laughs> we missed all our bombs with 100% accuracy as well. So looking good so far. No stun. Let's go, attack buff. Land your fucking bombs please. Thank you. That's how I like it, alright? This should be the way every single time, you know? You land 6 bombs, each bomb 40k damage, no problem. <laughs> Nothing is gonna survive here, alright? So boom boom, oh 39k only. I'm not really sure what to use against this lineup. I feel like the Byungcho Aetna kinda makes sense. Big damage output from those two, we got heals, we got Huadem to protect the team. Hopefully the resistance works. Although it's not 100%, however, 94, I'll take it. Too lazy to change the runes once again. <laughs> Trying to save as much mana as I can. But we took so much damage already though. Wow. Can we stun? Only one. Okay. That Sylvia actually very tanky. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, oh my god. I didn't expect the three turns from Fermion, by the way. Yo, we are dead. Unbelievable, man. Wow. Yo, this lineup actually did quite scary. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. Yeah, I don't think Bioncho sustains this. Ain't no way, man. The Provoke too strong, dude. We're down to our last sword of the day, and I think this team is pretty simple because we got the Tiana for the strip, Chiompong to push back, reset, and then Daniel doing the damage output, right? Hopefully, the accuracy check works for Daniel. Honestly, it doesn't really make sense why you need skill 3 accuracy on it. I feel like the damage should just go through when the attack bar is reduced, you know? So yeah, hopefully they can change that. Come on! Okay, we landed the damage on the tree. Armor break now onto the Giselle as well. We didn't reset this unit. <laughs> oh shit! What? Bro! Huh? I thought I resetted that unit, man. Hey! Wow! No strip! Not like this, man. Our Daniel is dead, bro. Wow. Are we going to get three losses here? That's two Nana stacks, man. How to come back? <laughs> hey, this two units, no damage, man. Fuck. Stop rocking, dude. How many times you do this? Byungchu moving as well. Okay, we got a strip. We cleanse ourselves. Push back. Okay, next turn we got a second skill. 
Armor break. Okay, I'll take that stun. Can we kill tree? Oh! Wait a minute. Come back, it's real, boys. <laughs> we don't lose to us a Nana, right? He's already down to the last hit. There's no more revive. Oh my god. This one's so close. The siege battle has finally ended, and we got 346 crystals, followed by 999 guild points. Alright, we'll be able to head over to check out the map later at the end of that fight. We got first place, followed by the yellow guild at second, SWSR plus one coming in third. Let's open up this box over here. What can we get? Two wind scrolls. Okay. Ooh. Please, please, triple speed. Just sell. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for this one then. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Hopefully, we can reach 20k by the end of this year, right? Take care, stay safe, my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.